What happens when the king of the monsters goes to war with the most destructive weapon on earth? Who will come out as the reigning champion after running the greatest fate humanity has ever witnessed? Ladies and gentlemen, that is what I, the universe's most hated kaiju power scare King Churros is here to uncover. We'll be going over their stats, their feats to determine the true winner of the greatest Godzilla vs. Godzilla matchup of all time. Yeah, I said it. Don't believe me? Well, watch the full video to find out why I said that. Enough chit chat, let's dive into the greatest battle of all time. Final Wars Godzilla is probably the Godzilla with the most swag. I'm not even dragging it. Look how he posed. He knows how to flick for the gram, and I'm not even mad at it. But humanity's definitely mad at it. They dropped a whole oxygen destroyer on my guy. And you know what? He survived it. To survive something as crazy as the oxygen destroyer, he would need the durability to withstand up to 13 exatons of TNT. Enough power to eradicate a multitude of continents, such as Europe, Asia, Africa, and... I would say Australia, but that's quite literally a real world monster island, and I don't know if anything could destroy that. But with all that in mind, that's not even a limit to how strong Final Wars is. Yes, I know that sounds insane, but let me keep cooking. After Final Wars got buried in ice, and yeah, Final Wars, I'm gonna keep it real with you, not a good look. Despite the Loki L, he grew stronger during his Captain America time, in, so he would be above that 13 exatons power level I mentioned before. And look how tough his intro is. Oh, he's clean. And he pieced up Gigan, this fraud, Kumaga, Kamakri, Sodora. This is even bigger fraud! They got my boy Goji pulling a 20v1, no Kaisa Nat. And only one of the Kaijus was a real threat to him, Monster X. And must I say, he got aura too. He appears in a meteor gore after that final war uses his infamous spiral beam to destroy. Couch getting this attack to 14 exatons. See, I wasn't lying about him getting stronger. And look, right after that explosion, Godzilla's just posing as if nothing happened. He gotta be top two and not two. And what's that? You want to hear about some more juicy high ends? <laughs> I got you, random person in my head. Statements imply Final Wars could destroy planet Earth, which requires 60 zettatons, several dozen times over the aforementioned 14 exatons. But I'm not finished, I got more. The human characters believe they could destroy Gora with all their firepower, and the example they're shown would actually pass planetary power and be large planetary up to 2.1 yada tons. And these humans who got that planetary thing on them can't even defeat Final Wars with that same weaponry. He's looking pretty tough. Is it even possible for him to be argued stronger? Don't even ask me that stupid question. You already know what's gonna happen. Heavenly Final Wars. Yes, sir. A massive power up for Final Wars to take on his greatest threat, Kaiser. In this new form, he annihilates Kaiser Ghidorah and creates a Rick Ross sized explosion. This explosion has been calculated from many different ranges, but I know what you want to hear. 533 zettatons of TNT, enough power to destroy Earth eight times over, and with subatomic scaling, boom, he shoots up to 430 ronatons, dwarf star level. Final Wars is him in power. But just because he got it in power doesn't mean he got it in speed. Uh, yes, yes, he got it in speed. Look how my dog on foot moves past a supersonic flying Rodan. Crazy. And let's talk about his combat and reaction timing. Final Wars Atomic Breath was able to intercept Gorath out in space, calculated to be 65% the speed of light. But Final Wars noticed Gorath way before then, so you could actually argue his reaction time is 10 times the speed of light. Considering Kaiser speed blitzes him and then Final Wars speed blitzes him, he would be several times faster than even that. As for his battle IQ and abilities, Final Wars has some everyday Godzilla abilities, okay, okay, but he also possesses the pulse attack, subatomic destruction resistance, the burning spark G heat ray, and some WA1 martial arts skills. He got boxing, grappling, wrestling, tiger claw, Oh, archery? Man, sign him up to be the next hood avatar. He got it all. Uh, Alright, my bad, y'all. I'm going to stop the glaze. But we did establish Final Wars is a major, major threat. And can Evolve Godzilla keep that same energy? Monsterverse Godzilla is on straight timing, putting every Titan on a t shirt, and then literally becoming king of the monsters. That was a street name at first, but Monsterverse actually made it official. I gotta respect it. Power level wise, he's nothing to scoff at either. 
He's king for a reason. Casually, Monster vs. Goji was able to pile drive into the hollow earth. Couch getting him to 6 exatons to 10 zettatons. Multicontinental to small planet. And he can box with King Ghidorah. The best Ghidorah, by the way. Who creates country sized storms and he carries these heavy storms with him. Couch for these going to moon level. But wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. wait. I've been chattering about base Goji. This video's about evolved. Remember I said I'll stop glazing for the rest of the video? <laughs> Ally! Look at the rose glow. Fire! He hit the gym, he got the physique. Fire! The extra spikes? Fire! The light skin stare? Fire! The millennium aesthetic? Fire! Do I need to explain why? Hey, all right, glazing aside, Evo is pretty strong. He stated to be two times stronger, but that would be applied to his previous power plant charged up form, which already surpasses his base form. But to play it cool, we'll multiply the base feats. But we'll add a little asterisk to it to signify that he should be higher. So now he jumps from 6 exatons to 12 exatons, and now from 10 exatons to 20. But that's if we don't want to apply the 20 times energy capacity. Now Tings move up to 120 exatons, which is moon level, or 200 and zettatons, now becoming way into planetary. And if we include the Monarch Legacy of Fair scaling, we can use his Dwarf Star meta and make his 43 Ronatons jump to either 86 or 860 Ronatons. Still Dwarf Star level, but definitely a lot higher into it. Base can run up to 300 miles per hour on twos, but on fours he hits the jets and increases the 400 to 500 miles per hour. Evo is confirmed to be faster, so he would exceed these speeds. His atomic breath is 75% the speed of light, being made of... I'm not even gonna try it this time. Kong, Ghidorah, and Mechagodzilla were able to react to it, which gives them relativistic to faster than light combat and reaction times. Evo Godzilla being faster than his base should push him higher in these tiers, possibly two times to four times the speed of light. On to Monsterverse's abilities and battle IQ, Evo's a great grappler and even wrestler, and Cinderor taught him well. He baits his opponents into attacks, he adapts and changes his fighting style when necessary. His abilities include the standard Goji stuff, but he also has additional spikes on his elbows and tail for extra damage. He also has a pulse, a super spiral beam, subatomic resistance, specifically to freezing, quantum destruction, longevity, DNA absorption, gravity adaptation, and more. As you can see, both Gojis are pretty dang strong and chock full of experience, abilities, and battle tactics. We established both can reach multi-continental, moon, small planet, planet, large planet, dwarf star, and even star. See what I mean with this fight being very interesting? Speaking of the fight, I think it's time we answer who wins. This battle takes place in Tokyo, standard battle assumptions, and they start meters apart from one another. And we'll be going for tier for tier, band for band. A lot of the fights come to either Final Wars being way too fast, or Evolve being way too strong. So to not sound like NBA Youngboy on every song, I'll just talk about an equal stats fight, since that'll be a lot more interesting, and bring up the tally for the other battles later. The fight will likely start with Evolve charging in, like he always does, and Final Wars likely doing the same. But BOW! Evolve tackles Final Wars right into Tokyo Tower, and sign Evolve into the NFL now! The Cowboys need him, they're trash! Final Wars gets the blast and knocking Evolve off of him, and he starts pulling the most gorgeous kaiju hand-to-hand -hand combat I've seen! Comboing Evolve with left and right hooks, and seeing how Evolve dealt with opponents weaker than him, spamming him with combos, I don't see him doing much better to save himself here. And if Final Wars hit Evolve with that pump fake, oh no! <laughs> it ain't looking too good for Evolve. But here's the thing though, if Final Wars give Evolve space after pissing him off, Monsterverse is pulling out his favorite trick when he starts taking the nail. Now it's up to Final Wars to avoid the pink or spiral heat ray. Final Wars should be agile enough to dodge it, but if he were to get hit by that quantum destruction, it can leave a nasty mark. Or at least give Evolve an opening to crash out on Final Wars. And yes, in a Monsterverse, Titan's raging gives them an amp. Evo charging right into Final Wars, hit him with a shoulder check, or just go straight to tweaking, slashing Final Wars with his superior natural weaponry. And this is where I see Evolve dominating Final Wars and pulls off a kiss of death. That's if we don't want to include Heavenly Final Wars. Now the same scenario, but Final Wars pulse attacks Evil off of him, and he gets a ragdolling, swinging, and throwing around Evolve like your feelings with your crush. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but she don't like you. Then Final Wars launches Evolve into the sky and fires the Spark Heat Ray on Evolve and blowing him to bits, ending the fight. Well, 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 still not finished. That scenario is if Evolve's endurance isn't enough to save him, but considering Monsterverse been put into a spliff before and kept getting up, he might do the same in this case here. And once again, he'll either tweak out or actually release a pulse attack. 
Now, it's not too in character for him to do this, but considering a weaker form can do it, I don't see why Evolve couldn't either. This could give him a layup to a successful Spiral Heat Ray, ending a fight yet again with Evolve. So yeah, as you can tell, this fight could go anywhere. Depends who makes the first smart play. And I argue it's pretty 50-50 because both are very intelligent fighters. They even copy each other's moves? So I can definitely see a lot of scenarios going in either one's favor. I'd argue it's 50-50. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, chill! Even when I use a tally aspect, they both it tied at 5-5, and I even included their max high-ends. We evolved being above blue stars and final wars being above the Emperor of Ghidorahs. And that brings me to you guys. Go into detail about who you guys think wins. Does final wars eradicate evolve? Or does evolve stomp? Be sure to tell me about it in the comments. And uh while you're there, you wanna like and subscribe too? <laughs> no? Okay. But but with that aside, gangies. I'll see you guys later.